Hello. Let's just get straight into it. This is Smooth Zoom tutorial. My comp is one by one. My comp, comp length is one second. And my frame rate is, what is my frame rate? 33 frames per second. I don't know why, I don't know when, but let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's import our first image, scale as necessary. And then we're going to cut it by Ctrl Shift D, delete. Bring in your next clip. Scale it as necessary. You can clip the end. So now we got something like this. You can put this to 16. Then we're going to pre comp the clip. So we're going to Ctrl Shift D, pre comp. Ctrl Shift D. We can't. All right. So now we're just going to create a null layer. So right click, new, null object, right click, new, null object. Then you're going to select both of these and then Ctrl Shift D to split. And then you're going to move this on top of this layer. So now you have four null layers total. So now you're going to parent them to the null. So you're going to click this little pick whip here and pick whip it to your null layer. And then you're going to pick whip null one to null two. Same for this clip. Pick whip the clip to null one. Pick whip null one to null two. All right. So let's do our scales. So click on your null one. Press S on your keyboard for scale. Go a few frames forward. Press scale. Now we're going up. Let's do a big number, 400. And then we're going to select our keyframes and then F and F9. And then we're going to make sure we have motion blur on, on our little clips here. You don't need to have it on on your null layers because it does nothing. Alrighty, so select your keyframes, go into the graph editor, and then you're going to click on edit valley graph. You can also select that by right clicking and go to valley graph. And then you're going to select this top handle, bring it down, select this bottom handle, bring it across. Let me just put my let me change my preview quality to third so you can see it faster mm, maybe i want a slower zoom just adjust it as necessary all right you can copy and paste these values onto your second layer as well Actually, no, it wouldn't make sense because it just wouldn't make sense. We'll get to that when it gets to that. So let's go to the next null layer and a uh, few frames in. We're going to press S on our keyboard again. Keyframe scale at 100. Go to the end of your clip. Keyframe scale at 40. And then we're just going to put this to the end. I'm going to add motion tile to our original clip here. And then output width 300, output height 300. And we're going to select our keyframes FNF9. And then we're just going to go to the, the graph editor. And then we're going to have a nice good old, old graph. So now it's going to look like this. So if we want an overshoot, we'll just go like here. And just make sure it's nicely overlapping. Maybe we want a stronger overshoot. Maybe we want a weaker overshoot. Just adjust it as necessary. So since we don't want to see that last clip right here, we're just going to put our last keyframe over one. There we go. And then we're just going to do the same exact thing. All right, so. Oh wait. You can copy and paste these values so you can just control well press u to see your keyframes select them c then go to your beginning of your clip and then control v press u and then you got the same exact thing and then let's go again control c control v move it over as necessary Right. 
So I just edit that paragraph a bit. I believe this does not have motion tile. So let's just copy and paste that motion tile over here. So there's some clip over here. Okay, so let's just add a bit more effects, why don't we? So, new adjustment layer. And then we're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna go to the center. And then we're gonna come to Shift D. Place it down again. Now we're going to search for optics compensation and put it to our first adjustment layer. And then we're just going to select field of view to 100, keyframe it, reverse lens distortion, and then we're going to go a few frames forward. <laughs> she looks kind of goofy. Um, and then put that all the way back to zero. You can select it and easy ease it if you like. And you can copy and paste this and put it on the next. All right. So now we're just going to add warp to give everything a nice little final touch. So a few frames forward, warp style to fisheye, bend to zero, keyframe bend at zero, go to the end. And then you're going to go to negative 100. See that e that intensifies the zoom. Then I'm going to select the keyframes FNF9, or you can right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, or you can just simply press F9. And then you're going to select your graph here, and then you're going to do a nice little lower shoot. And I don't think you need to touch this much actually. There you go. And then you can just copy and paste these values. V. Oh! <laughs> oh! You have to edit them. Please, please edit your values, Fisher. <laughs> Wait, no, I need to see that again. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, back to Fisher. Back to Fisher. There we go. <laughs> and then, and then that's it. And then you can just select everything. Control Shift C to pre-compose. And then you can add R S and B if you like. Um, you can put your blur mode to zero point seventy. And there you go, a smooth little bouncy, <laughs> a smooth little bouncy zoom. And if you want to be fancy, you can even add turb. Um, I have a preset for my turb. I'm not gonna teach you how to do that today. I'm too lazy. Oops, whoopsie, whoopsie doodle. Hold on, whoopsie, turb. I think my turb is exactly a second long. That's why it's so long where does this end oh my gosh i think it ends at 450 and goes to zero okay ignore this step <laughs> i'm just experimenting zero oh not negative no 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 450 Okay, this is a new term. And if you want to be real fancy with it, you can add flash and blur. You can just go to the original clip. Blur. No. What am I searching up? You can do CC, I don't know, BCC lens blur, but since I'm basic, just gonna go with Gaussian for now. You can crank that up to 70. I recommend you actually use camera lens blur if you're lazy, but hey, who's got time for all that? Well, you, you're supposed to have time for all that. Anyways. <laughs> all right. And then you can also, you can keyframe this by the way, but I'm lazy. So exposure, let's crank this baby up to 0 0.70. 
And then it's edit at zero. And then you can and you can copy and paste the keyframes, but I'm just too lazy. Exposure 0 0.70. And then you go to the end. Well, not the end, well, where the Gaussian blur ends. And then reset this back to zero. And there you have it. That looks very blurry, but hey, is what the it's what the, it's it's what the masses want. Am I right? <laughs> it's what the TikTokers want nowadays. And that's how you do a smooth zoom with blur and exposure, if you want. I hope this tutorial helped. This is Marina. You should stream her. And good night. Bye bye.